Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So what I'm going to be talking about today is actually on par to something that I was going, I, I was originally debating on whether or not to make a New Year's resolution on or not. I actually decided against it for the sole purpose of um, the, the fact that I just felt like the, the thing I talked about yesterday just fit more, or not yesterday, the day before, just kind of fit more with what binded with reality for me. Now this does too, just not quite as much. With that being said, let's stop being cryptic and get to the topic. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be talking about that of financial struggle. Now, if you're, if you're um, beginning millennials or anything before that, you obviously don't struggle with this. So if you're from, let's put, the mid-1970s or anything before that, this video probably won't match you. If it does, you know what? Cool beans. Wait, that's an 80s phrase. You get what I'm saying. Anybody after that, I've... I, I looked into it, a large percentage of individuals from any year after 75, 76, str a large percentage of people struggle with this. And like late millennials, early, early centennials specifically do have a tendency to struggle with. Me, I'm a late millennial. Um, for those who don't know, early centennials don't really start until 97, I believe. 1990 maybe it's either 97 or 99 i'll have to do the research on this another day because i do want to talk about that um concept but with that being said either way around if you're like mid 70s or any time after up until this point you probably struggle with it i am one of them how do you fix that well i can guarantee this you not bear in mind again not everybody does not everybody from these point in times do it's just a large handful of them like for example my siblings don't really struggle with it um they go about we all go about different strategies so i guess it just depends on the person's strat whether it actually works out or not <clears throat> but with that said One of the things that's nice to have during these kind of circumstances when you struggle with it, like me, is somebody who knows how to approach it. My phone just buzzed, but I'll check that after this video. Someone to help you approach the matter or someone to help balance it or to relate to always helps. For example, say you have a large bill to pay and you're trying to balance something out about the bill. You're sitting on the edge of things and you're trying to make sure that you have some fallback finances. What do you do? I guarantee those of you who are watching this who already know the answer to this question, who are good at it, you all probably have different answers, different approaches, and somehow all of them work. That's because the strat works for you. There's always a soft center. But depending on the person, that soft center can be different. Sometimes, and this is just, I'm saying this not from personal experience, partially from personal experience, but not by much. Most of it is actually coming from resource, from other individuals who I was just having conversation with and they actually said this or at least they didn't say these exact words but this is basically what they were saying find a soft center to make sure that if you financially approach something you are still able to pay for everything else like for example I pay for YouTube premium um, but say my bills are coming up and I barely have a nick of money to be able to do that. 
with the capabilities of at least getting groceries to be able to eat. What do I do? First of all, YouTube Premium is not a necessary thing. So we put that at the end of the line. This side. <laughs> what comes first? Making sure a roof is over our head. And electricity is built, energy is done. Which, for those who don't know, energy is basically like a thermostat, heat, a heater. It's, it's, it's gas running through the systems to make sure that everything heated, everything... Like stoves. Um, if your place has an electric fire, that. Hot water. Like the water is separate, but the heat for it is not. Stuff like that. To make sure stuff like that functions. That's what an energy bill does, for the most part. There are some other factors, but I'm not going to go too deep, too deep into it. Speaking of water, water bill. And then, of course, the rent itself. Cumulatively, you need to take that into consideration, plus any kind of distribution finances, small amount, but still, uh, that would need to be made for it. <clears throat> take all those factors in consideration, then what do you have left over? You'll have to faction the rest of it out. How much would you use for food? And how much would you use for others? If it turns out that the other... If you're able to get groceries enough to be able to survive within this small time period, do that. Definitely do that. Because, let's put it this way. Uh, me, personally, I I used to DoorDash a lot. I don't do it as much now as I used to, but um, I still do it every now and then. Probably, I've narrowed it down to either once every... It's It'll either be weekly or bi-weekly. It really depends on my circumstance, I guess. And how much I have on hold financially. Ugh. Jeez. Sorry. I'm, I kind of came down with a cold recently. Ignore that. But I digress. Um, some factors that are taken into consideration, that need to be taken into consideration of this. Look at the different ways to get the ingredients. Or the food, or groceries, or whatever you need. Go about it the cheapest way but the most providable way. What would you have after that? Say you have 70 bucks and your cheapest way costs you 45 bucks. Go do that. Then, under the case of what I presented, YouTube Premium, it's about $13. We'll go 14 because it's like 13 oh something. I actually forget the exact total. Um, you, it, it, because of that factor, it would, 45 minus 14, you now have about $31. What can you do with that? What other necessities? How about gas for a car or a bus if you can't, like, drive a car? And if you have neither of those as options, Lyft or Uber. I know not a lot of people like those, but quite frankly, if you need to get somewhere quickly, you might need to use it. Use it for that. If there's anything else, well, it's not necessary. Probably. There's also cell phone bills, but I'm being narrow and trying to just get a point across. Balance can do a really big thing, and, well, it can have a big impact. One thing I've noticed is that, so Pink Fox and I both both used to be like really bad at this. We have gotten better, and one thing I've noticed on both of us as well is the more we got better, the more organized and care-filled we became. Now let me explain. Finances are a struggle, and those who struggle with finances are less hygienic less organized, and more messy. But those who actually focus more on balancing that out, be, first of all, healthier eating habits, which would actually save them money anyway. Secondly, 
And by the way, healthier eating, eating habits, there are different ways to go about that too. It really depends on the person, but that's a story for another day. A a anyway, secondly, the approach of simply just doing this alone, the, it, it can change your hygiene patterns. Admittedly for me, for example, I used to forget, like, I know this is disgusting, but I used to forget to, like, think simple things like deodorant, brush teeth, simple stuff like that. I used to forget to do that stuff all the time. And when I started getting into this pattern, the easier it became to remember this. I don't know if it's, like, a neurological thing. It might be a muscle memory thing. I'm not honestly. I'm not sure. It's right now. This is not something I looked into. It's just kind of a comparison thing. But it is. If you, ca I, I'll put it this way. The reason I'm saying this is because if you care about appearances in any kind of way, but you're not paying attention to your finances, your appearance isn't going to turn out as great as you want. Now admittedly I do not have every right to say stuff like this yet getting there but not quite there yet I am willing to admit this but again appearance wise this is also coming from someone who I'm, I'm not like a super messy person but I am not the cleanest either um, it used to be worse and when it was, ironically, it was around the same time my finances were just like, gone, 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 gone. Like, I'd get it two days later, gone. Get it two days later, gone. I used to be much worse than I am now. And yes, sometimes even now, the finances don't last very long. But the difference between back then and now is back then... It was because of the fact that I, I, I would focus more on desires and wants more than, like, bills. Stuff like that. Necessities. But I've, both Pink Fox and I have gotten so much better than that. I think one has helped the other. In fact, fun fact about Pink Fox for better or for worse, she's actually turning out a lot like my dad in that sense, which I will say this, in my eyes, is actually a really good thing. And when she is approaching things like that, compromise is part of it. Because she's aware that when, you, when compromise is added to the details, when it comes to people like her and I, it makes things easier to approach. And the reason she does it that way, it has nothing to do with me. It's more of a golden rule aspect. If she's going to compromise with others, she expects the same back in return. This is just something I've noticed over time. And I find this to be a, that factor. You know how I said for better or for worse. That's the better. That's definitely the better. I can't really think of a worse at the moment. I mean... If it were for worse, it'd probably be like argument, unnecessary arguments. That would be like a minimal amount of time. It hasn't happened yet, so I don't think it's going to, but it's a good phrase to go off of, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, I, I think this kind of gets the point across. Uh, I decided to talk about this just because both of us over time have gotten much better with finances, but we still have a way to go until we've hit that perfection end that we both want. And the fact that I was going to originally make it a New Year's resolution but didn't end up doing it, I figured I at least might as well talk about it. Something to reflect on. In fact, for those of you struggling, maybe this will kind of, I don't know, give you an idea of how to approach it. If not, that is fine. If so, good luck to you. But I think one thing's for certain. Everyone gets to those speed bumps nowadays. But if you approach it properly, I think everyone can at least come out of it. Whether very slowly or spontaneously. 
for the most part, slowly it's a more realistic one, but I'm sure there are some people very rarely out there who spontaneously come out of this circumstance. Having a helping hand does always help, but it's on you and you alone whether or not you can actually make it out. But these are my thoughts on it. Maybe I'm not entirely right. Maybe I'm, I don't know, in the eyes of some people, 100% accurate. But the, this is just kind of how I feel about the matter. It doesn't mean I'm right. doesn't mean I'm wrong. That one is up to you guys. But if you did agree with what I had to say, make sure to give the video a like. Um, if you like these kind of discussion rant type videos, why not click the link on the side of my head over here? So many of them, I, it's non-stopping. We'll eventually have like 4,000 over there. I'll be like... <laughs> but if you really like this kind of stuff, why not consider subscribing to the channel? Um, and as well as clicking the link on the other side, where if you do like it enough, you might find something that similar over there. Or maybe, I don't know, if you like, I don't know, if you like gaming or humor, you might find something like that over there as well. <laughs> in the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into this video, and we hope to catch all of you in another one. See you guys later.